welcome to another plant identification session. Today we're going to be looking at leaf veination. Now if you've not seen the other plant identification lessons, I've put them in the links below and you can watch the different ones on leaf shapes, leaf margins, winter twigs. But today we're going to have a look at leaf veination and the arrangement of leaves, whether they are alternate, opposite or in a whirl. We call that phyllotaxy as well. So, so when we're looking at leaf veination, you can look very closely here at the leaf and you can see that there is a vein pattern. And uh, we're going to be looking at the different types of veination. So on this one, we've got a lovely, so on this one, we've got a lovely palmate veination. Uh, on this one here, the the veins are parallel, so we'll have a look at that parallel veination. We'll also be looking at veins that lie pretty much opposite or punate. So we're going to have a look at the different kinds and this is a great way to learn how to identify plants. It's another tool we can use along with the margins, along with the bases of the leaf and the tips of the leaf. This can help us to identify a few plants. So we're also looking at the leaf arrangements. So are the leaves alternate, opposite, do they go round in a world? And uh, this again will help us not to misidentify a few key plants. So let's take a look and as usual there is a test at the end. So you can click the link below. It's the first link and you can test yourself to see how you're getting on. In this first one you can see that the leaves are alternate. On the second one you can see the leaves are opposite. And in this one you can see that the leaves go around in a whirl around the stem, sometimes called a vertical aster. So here's an example of a plant with leaves alternate. It's a prunus and a lot of the rosaceous plants have alternate leaves. So on the plant above you can see that the leaves are opposite. This is because it's a maple. But on the next slide here, you can see that on this plant, although it looks like a maple, the leaves are alternate, and that makes it the London plane in this instant. On the next slide, again, it looks like a maple with the sort of palmate leaves. But when you look closely, you can see that actually the leaves are alternate, and that's a liquid amber, Starachy flua. And then on the next one, you can see that we're back to the maple with the opposite leaves. And this is why it's so important to look closely and see whether the leaves are alternate or whether they are opposite. On this next one, we have a viburnum and you can see that the leaves are opposite. Two arranged one way, two arranged the other. This is the phyllotaxy, the arrangement of the leaf. Here's another viburnum, this is opulus compactum, and again, the leaves are opposite. But if you have a look at this black current, you can see although the leaves look like a viburnum, the leaves are alternate and you could easily get caught out. So if you look closely, leaves are alternate on arrives, that's a black current, and opposite on the viburnum. If we look at this one, on the left, we have a taxodium distichum and on the right, a metasequia glyptostroboides, the dawn redwood. If you look closely on the left, you can see that the leaves are alternate, and the one on the right, they are opposite. Otherwise, they look identical, and they can be mixed up really easily. On this one, you can see it has a whorl, and a lot of plants like this lovely Veronicastrum have a whorl around the stem. On this one, we're now looking at the arrangement of the veination, and you can see it's got a palmate. Volnation, they radiate out in a palm shape. On this next one, the leaves have parallel veins, so it's parallel veination. There are a lot of plants like grasses, hostas, and bamboos which have parallel veination. The next one has pinnate veination, opposite veins, and you can see on the plant on the right, the cornice, it has opposite veins. Then there's reticulate veins or branch veins like the cotoneaster on the right. They just branch out. Most dicotyledous plants 
have branched or reticulate veins. Then we have three veins, like this Viburnum davidii, has three strong veins. Here's an Acer, and you can see that's got a palmate veins. The hosta, of course, has parallel veins, and the cornus has pernate veins. And there's an older, and again, you can see that's got pernate veins. Well, I hope you've learned a little bit about leaf veination and leaf phyllotaxy, the arrangement of leaves, and hopefully that should help you uh, identify a few more plants. And as you build it up, you'll get better and better. And by the end of the course, hopefully you'll be able to identify quite a few plants and remember how to learn those botanical names. So see you next time on the plant identification course.